Coumarin is a natural compound found in many plants, including cinnamon, tonka beans, sweet clover, and other herbs and spices. It's a fragrant, sweet-smelling substance that's often used in perfumes and other cosmetic products. Coumarin is also used as a flavouring agent in some food products, particularly in cinnamon-flavoured foods and beverages. It's considered bad when consumed in large amounts because it can be toxic to the liver and may cause damage over time. High levels of coumarin have been linked to liver toxicity, which can lead to symptoms such as fatigue, loss of appetite and jaundice. Several studies have investigated the potential health effects of coumarin, including its toxicity and carcinogenicity. While some animal studies have suggested that coumarin may increase the risk of cancer, there's not enough evidence to confirm this effect in humans. In a study published in the journal Food and Chemical Toxicology in 2010, researchers investigated the toxicity of coumarin in rats. They found that high doses of coumarin caused liver damage and other toxic effects, and suggested that coumarin should be used with caution in food and cosmetic products. Another study published in the journal Food and Chemical Toxicology in 2018 investigated the carcinogenicity of coumarin in mice. The researchers found that high doses of coumarin caused tumours in the liver and other organs and suggested that coumarin should be considered a potential carcinogen in humans. The European Food Safety Authority, or EFSA, has established a safe daily intake level of coumarin at 0.1 mg per kilogram of body weight. This means that for an adult weighing 70 kilograms, the safe daily intake of coumarin would be 7 milligrams. However, it's worth noting that coumarin content of cinnamon can vary widely depending on the type of cinnamon. A study published in the journal Food Additives and Contaminants in 2015 analysed the coumarin content of different types of cinnamon, including Ceylon cinnamon and Cassia cinnamon. The researchers found that cassia cinnamon contained much higher levels of coumarin than Ceylon cinnamon. In fact, some samples of cassia cinnamon contained over a thousand times more coumarin than the samples of Ceylon cinnamon. And they concluded that people should limit their consumption of cassia cinnamon to reduce their intake of coumarin. In other studies, it was found that cassia cinnamon from Vietnam was one of the worst offenders for coumarin content and it's often labelled in a way that doesn't make it obvious that it's cassia form, using alternative names like Cinnamomum aromaticum. So if we know cassia cinnamon is bad given it typically contains the highest concentration of coumarin and Ceylon cinnamon is the better option given this typically contains a much lower concentration of coumarin, the question is what Ceylon cinnamon is the best? Well, aside from the thing to avoid, coumarin, cinnamon also contains beneficial compounds and one in particular known best by the acronym PACS, PAX. PAX or proanthocyanidins are a group of naturally occurring compounds found in a variety of plant-based foods, including fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and of course, cinnamon. PAX are known for their antioxidant properties, which means that they can help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals. And they're also known to improve heart health by reducing inflammation, improving blood vessel function, and lowering blood pressure. They've also been linked with better digestive health by helping to reduce inflammation in the digestive tract and protecting against certain types of harmful bacteria. Cognitive health is also said to benefit with some studies suggesting that PAX may help improve cognitive function and protect against age-related cognitive decline. Skin health also benefits with some studies indicating that they may protect against skin damage caused by UV radiation and other environmental factors. And finally, it's also apparently good for cancer prevention with some studies suggesting that PAX may help prevent the development of certain types of cancer. So with this in mind, we want to be looking for a Ceylon cinnamon that's proven to have the lowest concentration of coumarin and also the highest possible concentration of PAX. So we're maximizing its beneficial effects and minimizing the potential downsides. An empirical study was conducted across 12 brands of cinnamon in November 2020 and it found that the top three cinnamon supplements of the 12 tested for PAX content were True Nature's Advanced Strength Cinchulin with 44.9 milligrams of PAX per serving, Finest Nutrition Cinnamon Supplement with 40.5 milligrams of PAX per serving, and Nature's Bounty Cinnamon with 33 milligrams of PAX per serving.
These same three products all delivered a safe range of coumarin content, all within the levels set by the European Food Safety Authority, at levels of 3.6 milligrams of coumarin per serving for True Nature's Advanced Strength Sinsulin, 2.5 milligrams of coumarin per serving for Finest Nutrition's Cinnamon Supplement, and 2.4 milligrams of coumarin per serving for Nature's Bounty Cinnamon. So strangely, they all ranked in the same order for both packs and coumarin content, I guess pointing to the overall potency of the product in general for both the good and the bad compounds. In terms of the safest product with the absolute lowest concentration of coumarin per serving, Oregon's Wild Harvest True Cinnamon scored the best, with a minuscule 0.013 milligrams of coumarin per serving. And for reference, this same product scored 10.2 milligrams of packs per serving, landing it in the bottom 50% of all cinnamon products tested on the basis of pack score. So while safe in terms of an extremely low coumarin content, it wasn't one of the most potent for packs, albeit not the worst either. So potentially a good option for those who know they are highly sensitive to coumarin, but still want the beneficial effects of supplementing with cinnamon. We've provided links to all of the products referenced in this video in the description of the video below. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful and it helps you to understand more about coumarin and its risks and also helped guide you in terms of which cinnamon supplements offer the best combination of good polyphenol content and low concentrations of coumarin. If you like the content, please go ahead and subscribe. You can do that here or beneath the video. And don't forget to also hit the bell symbol when you do so you're notified of any new health and wellness videos that we post. Thanks for watching.